Hi friends and welcome back to a new video. If we haven't met already, my name is Ro and I'm an illustrator from Montreal, Canada. My goal this year is to grow this channel in hopes to share a special message with y'all, which is the secret sauce. It's a project I've been working on um, of an ebook to really help you embody and live the life of your dreams. I really hope that you'll enjoy this week's video and I'll see you at the outro. Bye. I think that what I'm enjoying so far and why I am committed to this project is that it allows me to really embody this new identity that I want and that I know that I need to go forward with um, for the purpose of myself but also for the purpose of others and yeah I'm really enjoying this so far and as I was thinking about this spiel it made me think that it's the part three of my ebook, which is to commit to your dream identity. And what I was reflecting on is what does this dream identity do right now? What does she eat? Who she surrounds herself with? Where she, where I can find her really often? Um, I want to be, and I am inspired by this version of me. I'm striving every single day. I'm committed to this identity and I'm not focused on the outcome. I'm really focused on having a series of wins. Girlie, let's talk about manifestation. <clears throat> I hope this is a good angle. I'm wearing a hat, not because it's summer, but because she's cute. 
Um, I wanted to hop on here. I'm currently writing the secret sauce, which will be accessible to y'all very soon. I think it's gonna add a lot of value to you as a human, but also to you as a creator. And I'm, um, I'm dialing down to one section, which is how to manifest the life of your dreams because I feel like in current years and like on TikTok feeds it has been it has been widely spread to a specific audience which I think that specific audience is women I think I'll have to say that I think that a lot of a lot of people including me before um, had a lot of preconceived ideas of what it meant and what it was um, and what I'm trying <laughs> What I'm trying to convey in the book is how, how can I teach you really easily to manifest things quickly as I was able to do and why it's not um, like a narcissistic crimbin. <laughs> this is falling. And why it's not a narcissistic to do, a thing to do. Um, I'm having difficulty because for me, for me learning this, learning and acquiring and integrating this skill um, came through a lot of readings, a lot of research, and I'm trying to condense it in a way that's really easy for y'all to, to put into action. And I just want to make sure that I'm putting a method out there that's going to be useful to all and not just a method that applies to people like me who have a specific thing. So I'm practicing myself to break it down so that when I go into my book again, I'm able to make it a lot more accessible and same when I'll be explaining it afterwards. But yeah, for me, manifestation, it's a constant process. It's putting into action. It's a result of your thoughts and your limiting behaviors. And that's why that in the book, we go forth with one, first trying to find presence, and then two, um, healing and letting go of those limiting beliefs to understand that this moment is now and that you could literally create anything and that there is enough for anyone. And putting a parenthesis, uh, an asterisk here, yes, there is so many structural problems. Very, I'm very aware of it and I don't wanna bum my eyes and do a spiritual bypass. <clears throat> On that, activism is necessary, and we need. I think that from I think from a personal perspective, I think we need to um, push the status quo and really push it all. But from what I've experienced on a very micro scale, and I think that influencing your my your micro scale will have an effect on the world. I've been able to find so much abundance which I've never ever like experienced in my mind before. So it felt really refreshing and really different. Where I want to get to is that from the first two steps that you've done, um, once again, being present and letting go of your limiting beliefs and healing, um, dropping the meaning, dropping the stories, then at this point, you are totally capable of manifesting anything without a class, without a book, without anything, you have it all. And <clears throat> I started, I, I was very, well, two things. I was very wary of it in the beginning. And two, I knew that it had so much power that I was scared of getting into it. But I got into it and I started manifesting things that were really small. Um, for me, the quickest recipe was was attracting things that didn't have meaning to me which didn't have limiting beliefs I don't want to get too specific because it's not about the specific things that I attracted because that's going to be very different for every person because of their own limiting beliefs and because of what they truly want I think that a manifestation has to be aligned with what you truly want um, how it makes you feel and not just or how you're gonna look towards others because if that's the case then please go back to step one and step two um, there's still work for you to do um, 
So yeah, so I'm trying to dial, dial down on like the perfect, the, the one, two, three step to manifest. But I think where I would go right now is trying to find a place of stillness in your mind and your heart. And then using visual imagery to imagine what you want and letting letting it to the universe to um, <clears throat> manage circumstances, manage how, manage what it's going to look like. And then, I'm so sorry, your job is really to focus on, on the visual imagery and how it makes you feel. Um, and yeah, and so, so focusing on those and then if you don't have limiting beliefs about that specific topic it's going to be really easy for you to believe that this thing that you really that you want is coming and then the two the two other things which are which are just harder to explain too is you need to want it but you need to also have a certain detachment to it and i think that's what blocks people from manifesting, they, they're like, oh, I want this, this, and that. And then either they're too attached to it or either they want to force the outcome and then it doesn't come. And they're like, oh yeah, okay, manifestation, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, the two, the two aspects are you need to detach and you need to uh, let go of the outcome. I would say those are the two big tips. So I think that's all I have to say um, on, on that topic so far. Please put it into action if it inspires you. Please believe in me when I say, no, no, you could do whatever, honestly. But yeah, I'm putting this out there because it's so accessible. It's so accessible. And since it's so aligned with your, your true authentic being, there's like no downside to it in a way. Like there's no like, be careful because if you do that, then like something else will happen. Not really, because if you're really aligned with who you are, with what you really want, you'll attract great things. There is enough for everyone. And then hopefully the microcosm, the micro level of you doing all these great things and experiencing so many great things as you should and as you deserve will be a reflection of the macrocosm as a bigger and wider plane. That's it for me. I love you all very much. And I'll get going on writing this book and releasing it ASAP or when it's ready. And yeah. have enjoyed this week's video my goal this year is to reach 300 subscribers so if you haven't seen already here are a few videos that i think you would like bye i'll see you next week